and this is Brunette Wig Place. I'm so glad that you are here today. Before I get started, I just want to remind you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below, and then every time I post a new wig-related video, you will get a notification that I have posted something new. So today, I am wearing a very cute little bob that was sent to me by the wig company. This is from their Timeless Collection, which was formerly known as their Basics Collection, and this particular wig is called Promise, and the color on her is number four. So, really cute little bobs, got a cute little bang, um, just a really, really sweet little style. So, let me do a turn and we will start talking about all of her specifications. So, here is her front. I like the length of the bang. It's not too short, like to where it looks too short, but it's not getting in my eyes at all. I have about a four inch forehead, so. Cute. My right side. The back, really pretty stacking in the back. My left side. And then back to the front. So she is just, like I said, a very cute little bob. She kind of reminds me of John Renault Blair. If you've ever seen, I have a review of Blair on my channel. Um, reminds me a lot of Blair. So as far as all of her specs are concerned, she is about 3.2 ounces in weight. She has a, it says three and a quarter inch bang. So that's what's making that such a good bang on my forehead with me having a four inch forehead. Um, so three and a quarter inch here in the front, 10 inches from the top. She has six inch sides, five inches in the back and a two and a half inch nape back here. So she looks to me as like she just gradually gets just slightly longer at the front, but it's not a big gradient, you know, that's terribly noticeable. It's just, I think she's a little bit longer so she can have these cute little swoopies that pop out here, you know, on the sides and point towards the chin. Just make her very, very flattering, really cute little style. So as far as her cap construction, she is a basic cap. So she doesn't have any monofilament in her at all, no monopart or anything like that. She does have permalift on the cap or perma, they call it perma lift, also known as perma tease, but it is not too bad. I mean, I can feel it on the cap and I can feel it on the top and I can see it if I look really, really closely, but it's not really terribly noticeable. So I'll show you the top here. You know, this is a dark color, which disguises it, I think even more, um, but you know, not bad at all. And then that hairline, you know, with those bangs, like I said, is really, really cute. Ear tabs are very nice. She's super cute to ear tuck. So nice ear tab, I've got great coverage. Um, this is an average size cap, but it's fitting me well, but there is plenty of room in here for a little bit of stretch for someone with a larger circumference, because as you know, I am petite. So, but really, really nice ear tabs. They do have metal stays and the metal stays are generous. They're, you know, they're sturdy and I'm happy with that. So, so really, really cute. So let me pop her off and we can look at the inside of this basic cap wig. So as you can see, you do have, I believe some, yeah, you do have some, some wefts under there because this is um, considered to be a very breathable cap, but it's got clothes lace over the top of it. And then there is, you know, like I said, some permatees in there. So, but the teasing is mostly just right at the wefts. So, so not bad. You have uh, lace covered ear tabs. And like I said, they have a nice metal stay. You've got Velcro adjusters. She does not have an extended nape. She just has a velvet, um, you know, strip across there, velvet felt, really, really comfortable. So, you know, just your basic cap construction. Um, not, she doesn't really have a bump of permatease when you come off of that you know, top part or anything like that. And then she's of course just open wefted all through there for breathability and coolness, which is very important as the weather begins to warm up, you know? So, I mean, it's already in the nineties where I am. So, um, so let me pop her back on here and we can talk about her color and then we'll take the color outside. Okay, and I just, I feel like she's, you know, sometimes with styles with bangs, I really feel like I have to struggle with the bangs a little bit when I first put the wig back on, but she's pretty easy, just plop and go, and, you know, I kind of like to zhuzh her up just a little bit. Um, 
You know, like I said, she does have a little bit of tease in there, and so you can get a little bit of volume. If you, you can actually get a lot of volume. I've seen some reviews of her where there, were, you know, the ladies that like more volume did have a lot of volume on her. But I just like to kind of loosen up those fibers a little bit, and just you know, she's got great movement, really lightweight, pretty fibers. So, you know, I'm just really impressed with these uh, this line of wigs that um, is exclusive to the wig company. So as far as her color, this color is number four. It is just considered to be a medium dark brown. So, and I think that's a good description. It's only a four. There's no, you know, other color highlighting it or anything like that. So no blend in the color. But a very, very pretty. I wanted to show one of their darker browns uh, because I have had questions about their darker browns. And so I just wanted to be able to bring y'all, I, I usually stick with their like eight to tens, you know, and um, I do have a few more that I'm gonna be reviewing that are in that range, but I wanted to go ahead and add to that. I wanted to show one of their darker browns too. So really, really cute. Okay, so let's take Promise outside and we will look at this color number four outside in the natural light. Okay, so we are outside with this number four. Um, medium dark brown from the wig company on the promise wig one thing you'll probably notice out here particularly when i get in the sun is that the fibers are kind of shiny so i probably would put some um dry shampoo on this one just to take that sheen out a little bit okay so let's check her out in the sun it's a beautiful sunny day so she is gonna be shiny but very pretty. You know, the synthetic fibers are usually a bit shiny, so. She's not heat friendly synthetic, so that's another reason why she's more shiny. Really cute. Okay, so we are back inside after looking at that color outside in the natural light, that number four. So as you can see, it's very, very pretty. Uh, darker medium brunette. So um, really, really cute. So I went ahead and stuck a little clip in her just to kind of show you one way that I have been playing around with her and styling her. So the bang on her goes back, you know, you still have bang back to here. So it goes into the style just a bit, which is cute. I mean, I, you know, I think it's a good trim on the bang. That's, that's how my, they used to cut my bangs when I used to wear bangs. So, um, so anyway, so the bang goes back there. So, you know, it's not really a style that you can do much with the bangs because the bang is short, but you could put a clip, you know, right behind the bang and that looks really, really cute. And then um, I always like to cover glasses because I know so many of us wear glasses and she is just, with this ear tuck ability, she is just great with glasses, super easy, no problem. You know, just easy, easy, easy to get them up on my head. So, really cute. Um, she's cute with a headband or a scarf. Easy, easy. She's really easy to style. She's very easy to work with. She's super comfortable. I mean, I just think she's a really, really cute little style. And I should mention she comes in three sizes. She comes in petite, she comes in average, and she comes in large. So I know that when you wear petites and you wear larges, particularly I think with larges, it's sometimes harder to find caps that fit you right. So I just wanted to make sure that I share that with you to let you know that you can get this one in a large. So, you know, cute little wig that will cover a variety of different circumferences. So that's always really, really great. So, so another way that I have been styling her, and I think she looks really cute like this, is you can pull these sides, the sides are long enough at 10 inches, that you can pull them back in a clip and just wear her back like that, just for something different, you know. Really, really cute. So like I said, I just think she's a really, really cute little wig. I, very, you know, basic cap, um, very affordable. This line is very affordable from the wig company. So um, I'm happy to bring it to you today. So I wanna thank them again. Thank you to the wig company for sending me this wig to review for y'all today. And thank you so much for watching. Information for purchase will be below in the information section. And as always, until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.